Happy New Year. I'm Spencer Crowe with a special year-end edition of the Chevy Report. And it is a Happy New Year when you're looking at uh, 2011's numbers. Uh, basically, the headline is 2011 was only off 3% compared to 2010. Let's take a look at the actual numbers so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, in 2010, 55 properties sold with an average of 46 days on market. For 2011, there were 64 properties sold with an average of 52 days on the market. Now, the average price of these homes tracked very, very closely. For 2010, it was $1,459,000. For 2011, that number came in at $1,418,000. And if you watch the Chevy report, and I know that you do because you're watching it now, you know I'm a big fan of cost per square foot when it comes to comparing properties. And here's where the 3% difference also shows itself. Uh, in 2010, a square foot of Chevy Hills home would have cost you $526.32. Now in 2011, that's, uh, that same square foot of home cost you $510.64. There's the 3% difference, and that's also the difference that I predicted in the special Halloween edition of the Chevy Report. Now, the average size of homes was within 100 square feet. Uh, it was uh, 2,800 square feet in 2010, 2,700 square feet uh, for 2011. And lot sizes, here you see a little bit more of a difference and really can't explain why, but in 2010, the average lot size was 7,822 square feet. In 2011, it was 8,430 square feet. Now, some other stats you might find interesting. The lowest sales price of the year, $660,000, and that was for 10317 Walla Vista Road. This was a bank-owned property, so that means there's always going to be a lower price there. And it's also basically across the street from the 10 freeway, so the $660,000 price tag, not really a surprise. Now, the high price of the year, uh, 2771 Forrester Drive, which sold for $2,990,000. This was contemporary new construction, and it was originally listed at $3,795,000. This one took 140 days to sell. Now, the big question is, what's going to happen in 2012? And the big answer is, I have absolutely no idea. However, let's take a look at what we do know. We're walking into 2012 with really great, very low interest rates, and that's keeping buyers in the market, and it's also keeping prices stable. Also, we're in Cheviot Hills. In Cheviot Hills, we have two great school districts. They're both delivering fantastic API numbers, so that keeps the area very desirable. And of course, the housing stock, the, uh, the hilly terrain that we have here, everything, and, and the central location as well, really makes Cheviot Hills very, very solid buy, or a very solid sell on the west side. Now, of course, there are a few things which could upset the apple cart. It is an election year. We have continued turmoil in the Middle East, so hey, we've been having that for quite a while. And uh, we also have some turmoil in Europe with the euro, so that uh, this all promises to uh, keep interest rates fairly low in the United States. So if it does stay low, then 2012 should be a very, very good year. Like I was saying, we're in Chevy Hills, very stable, very, very solid place. And that wraps it up for this week. If you'd like to talk about the numbers that I've spoken about today, if you're thinking of buying or selling a home, you're looking at income properties, or you just want to talk about the market in general, I'm only a phone call or an email away. So for the Chevy Report, I'm Spencer Kroll. Again, wishing you a happy new year and telling you to look out for this hat in the special St. Patrick's Day edition. <laughs>